Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. Hope you're all well, wherever you are and whatever you're up to. I'm Lauren and as you can probably tell, I'm in my shop today and this week's video is gonna all be about the new fabrics that we've had into the shop in the past month or so. So last month I had so many amazing new fabrics to show you that I split it, I had to split it into two videos but I've tried to condense things down into one today but I'm going to go through all of the stretchy stuff first and then the woven stuff afterwards so if it is more woven stuff that you're after then you can skip to later on in the video. Um, but I've got some things out in front of me, so I'll just start showing you what they are. The first one that I've got to show you, I mean, it just looks like a plain jersey. Like, it's not that exciting, but it's actually really cool. It's got a very, it's very weighty. Um, and it's, it, just, it just feels different from a lot of other jerseys. It also weighs a ton as well. It's got quite a high content of polyester, but don't be put off by that. I almost didn't get it, but it feels so amazing that I did. Um, it's 60 poly and 36 viscose and 4% spandex, but it's got this really kind of nice sort of structure weight to it, but it's still got the stretch as well. And it would be perfect for stretchy garments that just require a bit more sort of stability to them. So I was thinking that a perfect example of that would be the new Deering Do Socorro jumpsuit pattern which I'm really sorry if you're watching this like just as I publish it we're out of stock but more it's in reprint they just must have sold out so quickly during though so we're hopefully getting more towards the beginning of May um, but something like that or like a skirt for example would be really good for that too or even like a little sometimes you get like little jersey jackets or blazers would be good for that as well so we've got it in just kind of like basic everyday colors so there's a navy there's a greeny color and there's a black as well but it doesn't it doesn't feel polyester -y. it feels really soft and yeah just really nice got a really good structure to it so that's the first one and then I'm just going to put this on the floor because it is so blooming heavy and um, oh yeah um, the next one I've got, we've got it in four different colours. This one's a bit more unusual as well, so even though it just looks like another plain jersey, there's a bit more of a story. So it's got quite an unusual fibre content. It has 30% wool and 70% tensile. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. 30 wool, 70 tensile. So it's nice and stretchy. You can see it's quite lightweight, it's quite drapey. Um, uh, so it's going to be good for like lightweight cardigans or t-shirts or tops, that kind of thing. Obviously the wool content is gonna mean that it's a bit warmer. And the tensile, which is very similar to viscose or rayon, but it's just produced in a more environmentally friendly way, um, it gives it that really, really nice drape. And the four colors that we've got are kind of marled a little bit, so they're not totally solid plain colors. They're really nice. And they're made in the UK as well. These fabrics are woven or knitted and then dyed in the UK too. So that's just another little bonus if those kind of things are important. Um, and then the next ones that we've got that I've got to show you are a range of cotton ones and they're stripey and um, so I've brought we've got five colors all together but I've brought a few over here to show you and I'll show you the rest in a close-up and um, so it's just quite a basic cotton jersey sort of more like a medium weight but again just good for like tops and t-shirts the stripes woven into the into the fabric so you know it's going to be like on the grain um, so this is a really nice teal colour. We've got like a light blue colour as well and a navy. They're probably my favourite ones. And then we've also got a light pink and then a pink and a red stripe too. So yeah, just like a nice little basic route. Be cute for like a little short sleeve t-shirt to go under a dungaree dress or something. Um, so that's the stripey ones. And then I've got a couple of novelty ones which are really nice. Again, these are cotton jerseys. So we've got it's like a nice um, blue plain design that's on it flying planes and um, they'd be great for like kids leggings or little kids t-shirts and then this really cute one Sophia's favorite color is purple so I'm sure she'll love this fabric I made her a wee t-shirt in it um, and little but little bunny ballerina is very sweet and um, so yeah they're sort of two more novelty ones and then if you follow follow me on Instagram you might have seen me post about um, these ones before as well because they're not brand new but they're new to me like having them in a video and um, it's a sweat shirting and they're a fleece back ones so they're really lovely and soft but they've got this gorgeous sort of metallic design on them so this pink one 
has these splodges that just kind of catches the light really beautifully. It's really, really lovely. And then the other one, which is kind of like a silvery gray color, and then it's got like silver little brush strokes on it. So good for all your classic jumper patterns, the linden, the toaster, and um, you know, that kind of thing. They're gonna be good for that. And they're, yeah, they're nice and fleecy on the back too, which is lovely. And then also in the stretch department, I haven't actually brought any over, but I'll do a little close up um, of videos to show you. It is, we've had loads and loads of new Liberty sweatshirtings come in. So we've got a mixture of the Murray loop back, which is the cotton one, and it's got the loops on the back of it. And then we've also got some of the Linford fleece as well. So again, it's a sweatshirting, but it's got that kind of fleecy back to it got them in lots of different designs. They're really nice and wide, so it, like you get a lot out of the fabric in terms of the width. And again, they're gonna be good for like your classic jumper patterns. Um, so yeah, that's a nice to have a new selection of those sweatshirt ones in. I think my favorite one is the kind of, um, the one that sort of looks like waves, the wave design. Um, but yeah, they're really, really, really nice. And some of them are nice and bright as well, which is nice for this time of year. And then also in the Liberty vein, we've had loads of amazing new Liberty fabrics in. We've also had a few new stretch gabardines. So they are good for, things like the sasha trousers or like a little fitted dress like the etta dress something like that and um, because they're cotton so they're woven but they've got the spandex in them so they're a bit stretchy as well so yeah a couple of new designs of them and then we've also got some 100 percent denim liberty ones too so in this kind of wave design and then in this really lovely um navy blue with really sort of bright pops of coral and turquoise in it as well so they're going to be good for like a dungaree dress or a little skirt and um, something like that they'd be nice for or or even a non-stretch jean pattern like the morgan or the dawn if you fancied something funky in that vein and then we've also had a couple of liberty silks in too which i think would make a beautiful ogs and cami at this time of year they're so nice um, you know, you don't need much for an Ogden as well. So they're really beautiful, perfect for that kind of thing. And then staying on the woven theme of things now, we've got a really beautiful new Mikhail, Lady Mikhail Roy lawn in, which is really nice. I love the colours in this one. It's got a sort of mustardy background and then, yeah, these kind of really sort of multicoloured flowers in. So th that would make a gorgeous sort of summer dress, nice for a wedding or something, or like a garden party, um, or even just like a little blouse or a top. would be good for that too. And then we've also had, a, this is a, a stretch cotton, which is another Lady Mikhail Roy one. So again, this is going to be good for skirts or trousers that need a little bit of stretch or fitted dress um, or a dungaree dress, that kind of thing. So it's this sort of pa um, palm, palmy leaf print. Uh, print um, which we have had on a cotton lawn before so you might recognize it but they've just put it on a different base cloth so it's got it's got a really kind of deep um it's like a midnight it's not quite a black but it's like much darker than a blue and then really lovely greeny tones on it in this kind of leaf design so that's that's nice if you fancy a funky pair of trousers and then a bit more in the kind of basics range let me just pop this one down because it's really heavy and um, we've got some new stretch needle cords well, um, this color here is one of those quite hard to describe colors let's see what we've actually called it called it teal but it's one of those really deep sort of tonal colors it depends what light you look in it sort of looks a bit different and um, we've also got it in a nice bottle green and a navy as well so yeah it's lovely and soft and because it's got the spandex in it it's um, got that bit of stretch as well so like the gingers or the sashas like fitted trousers that need a bit of stretch could use it for skirts as well so yeah just a nice basic to sort of know that it's there and then also in the woven category we've had some of the beautiful new wildwood um, rifle paper co collection of fabrics so we've got four that are just on this sort of general like cotton base so it's more of like a sort of medium weight cotton and then we've got a couple that are on the rayon base the drape really beautifully let me just hold that up so that you can like see the full effect of the drape of course the colors and the print detail and the rifle paper fabrics is always just totally spot on they're just so beautiful and um, so loads of lovely drape and movement and that's so good for it's got it's actually quite a weighty one as well so it'd be like perfect for a skirt i don't think you need to line that like a skirt a dress top shirt and um, really versatile fabric 
the cotton lawns because they're not the cotton lawns sorry the more medium weight cottons because they've got a bit more structure to them then you just have to select your pattern with with that in mind basically because it will sort of hold its shape a little bit, bit more but if it's like a simple top or a simple skirt or a more sort of structured dress like a fitted bodice and then maybe like a gathered skirt or like a skirt with panels in it or something then they'd be that'd be totally fine and um, so yeah it's nice to have them and they're very colorful makes the shop look very beautiful and then we've also got a range of new again they're Lady McElroy ones and they are a viscose with a little bit of spandex in them too so although they're although they've got that bit of stretch and they're still classed as a woven fabric um, I've brought this one over to show you and then I'll show you close-ups of the other ones but this just this will just give you an idea of the drape they're really beautiful they're so soft and they've got quite a sort of smooth finish to them um, so it's just a, a different kind of base cloth um, from some of the other viscose ones that are Lady McElroy ones sometimes they have a sort of slub on them but this one's really lovely and sort of soft so hopefully you can kind of see that in the video it's very lightweight and very drapey so again good for tops and blouses dresses tunics a sort of fuller skirt and quite a lot of nice strong floral prints there that have got lots of lovely colours in them um, I quite fancy making a Cali tunic version out of this one actually um, but it's always really hard when we get loads of fabric, new fabrics in because I basically want to make something with everything um, so yeah they're the new um, Visco spandex ones and then last ones that I've got to show you which are the ones just on these rolls behind me um, they're like kind of light, they're lightweight, waterproof, water, not waterproof, water resistant fabrics. So they'd be good if you're making more like a transitional raincoat where you don't want a lot of warmth in it, but it's for those days where it is a bit warmer, but it's raining and you have to keep dry. Um, so these two particular designs, they are a cotton base, but then they've got like a, a like a poly coating on them to make them water resistant um, and they you know they are a bit lighter weight but that's sort of that that would just be like the kind of style of the jacket it's just a lighter weight jacket um, and then the other ones that we've got I'll just bring them over we've got these very funky ladies and this comes in two different colorways and um, so this one is a totally synthetic one it's kind of like a, a like a coated fabric again so it's almost like a bit of a mesh on the back um, and then it's got this print on the front and um, which again makes it water resistant so yeah this particular print comes in two colorways this is the kind of greeny one and then we've also got one that's got um, pinky tones in it and um, the other one are these very cool funky ladies here that have got umbrellas that so they've got like pink spotty dresses on and blue hats and then they've got um sort of charcoal grey umbrellas as well, very funky. Um, so yeah, like the Tilly and the Buttons Eden pattern would be good for that or the paper cut waver, just like really nice simple designs would be good. So I hope you've enjoyed having a look at all of those new, lovely new fabrics. If anybody's got any questions about any of them, you can just leave me a question in the comments on this video and I shall try to help. Um, I'll put a, a link to the blog post that's connected with this video and it will summarise all of the fabrics that I've talked about. So there'll always be like links to all of them in that blog post. But otherwise you can just look at the Just Arrive section. We do get new fabrics all the time. So it's always the best place to look and be like most up to date with new stuff that's coming in. There as stuff that didn't even make it into this video because sometimes we literally get something in and it just goes so quickly it's so popular so it is the best place to look on an ongoing basis um, thanks so much for watching guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel already just remember to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on my next one and i'll see you next time bye